Hi, Blake Roney, Digital Solutions Manager at SIN360. Today, we're going to be discussing the output shape function of your Micron Mapper. So by default, the Micron Mapper is designed for you to use the same scan body for both your tissue scans and your photogrammetry output. This makes it really easy. It's one less part change on the clinical side. But let's say that you know you want to use a healing cap in your tissue scans. We'll need to output this shape from the micron mapper to look like a healing cap instead of a micron mapper scan body. So it's always easier to do this before you scan. So when you're putting your patient information in, you know, select your jaw, put in your implant locations, and then you'll go down here to output shape and select the healing cap that you plan on using in your tissue scans. But let's say um, you forgot to change it here, or maybe it, even it's two weeks later and you want to update this output shape. Very simple. So you'll just open, open your Micron Mapper software. Here in the output shape, you'll select the healing cap you want to use and click the change shape option. This is going to open up your Micron Mapper data folder. You'll select your patient. And then you'll double click on that uh, Microsoft Excel document, the CSV that contains the raw data about where those implants are located at. You'll notice automatically up in the top right, it's changed the shape of that output. So now if we close out the software, we go to our Micron Mapper data folder and open up that patient, you'll see an extra file in here now. So this is the STL that looks like a Micron Mapper scan body. And here's the STL the same data, but represented as a sin healing cap in this example. So if you have any questions about this process, feel free to reach out, support at sin360.us. Thank you.